Phaco fragmentation with a Lensar laser system segments the lens into small pieces and provides cleavage planes that assist in nuclear disassembly. The aim is to reduce or eliminate the use of ultrasound energy during the cataract removal process. The most efficient cutting pattern assessed in clinical studies was the PIES algorithm that combines a series of circular and radial cuts that allow the lens to be broken up into small segments. The radial cuts promote cleavage planes that permit easy chopping of the lens, even in harder grades of cataract. The 3D reconstruction from the 3D CSI imaging and biometry system shows the placement of the capsulotomy in yellow and the fragmentation pattern in blue within the capsular bag. The placement takes into account the required safety clearances from the anterior and posterior capsule. During subsequent surgery, the segments can be broken up with a pre-chop method, hydrodissection, or simply using aspiration, depending on the hardness of the nucleus. This video shows a grade 3 cataract that Dr. Harvey Ui in the Philippines treated with the PI algorithm. With minimum effort, he separates the laser-fragmented nucleus with the aid of a chopper. Using no ultrasound, he then easily aspirates the lens fragments. The whole case was completed without the use of ultrasound energy as seen by the overlay that indicates a zero CDE. In the second case, a grade 4 cataract has also been treated with the PIES algorithm. The lens is easily chopped into two halves and the fragmented pattern can be seen to aid the rapid breakup of the nucleus with the assistance of the chopper. The case is completed with very low ultrasound energy, the CDE value being 7.4. In a clinical study with the Lensar laser system, the total ultrasound energy, or CDE, was compared in cases where the lens underwent laser phaco fragmentation with those that underwent routine phaco emulsification. This graph shows ultrasound energy in each cataract grade. CDE was reduced at each cataract grade after the laser system was used. In percentage terms, the largest reductions were with the softer cataracts, but in absolute terms, the amount of ultrasound energy used in these cases is generally low. For grades 3 and 4, the percentage reduction in CDE is less, but the absolute reduction in ultrasound energy is much more significant. Work continues to identify the clinical benefits that might be associated with the use of less ultrasound energy, which might be expected to include less corneal edema in the early postoperative period, and less change in endothelial morphology following surgery.